Social media has become one of the biggest entertainment platforms there is. Many people, especially teens, really enjoy playing the different he's that are available. But here's the best part. Online gaming comes with its own advantage in that a player is able to earn while still enjoying playing the games. In today's video, I will look at 8 GTA Online Money Hacks to try right now. These hacks come in the form of games in GTA. You really don't want to miss this. Grand Theft Auto Grand Theft Auto GTA is a series of action-adventure games created by David Jones and Mike Daly. Later titles were developed under the oversight of brothers Dan and Sam Hauser, Leslie Benzies, and Aaron Garbutt. It is primarily developed by British development house Rockstar North, formerly DMA Design, and published by its parent company, Rockstar Games. The name of the series references the term Grand Theft Auto, used in the United States for motor vehicle theft. Gameplay focuses on an open world where the player can complete missions to progress an overall story, as well as engage in various side activities. Most of the gameplay revolves around driving and shooting, with occasional role-playing and stealth elements. The series also has elements of the earlier beat em up games from the 16-bit era. Here are some of the games. Condemned. And once you have started up the Condemned Adversary mode, the settings are pretty simple. Experts recommend putting team balancing on and then setting first to win two to three rounds. That's actually the maximum number of rounds you can do in this game mode. And then you're just going to want to get some people in this game mode with you. All you'll need are three extra people to do this with any of this game. It is actually very fun when you play it with friends. Let me quickly explain it to you guys who've never played it. So this game is fascinating and at the same time amazing. Basically, it's for people with guns and whoever ends up dying first is going to be the condemned person. Simply, it's just about a player that's on fire and they have a shotgun. Now, whenever one of the players with a shotgun and you're on fire, your health bar is going to go down. So what does this mean? It means that a player should avoid being set on fire while playing the game. And obviously, as a player continues to play, he can see his health bars down at the bottom right of his screen. So, you want your health bar to be as high as possible because, at the end of the game when it ends, the highest one ends up winning the game. But there's one trick that a player can use, and that is killing a player from the other team in order for him to be not condemned. Once you have killed one of the other team's players, your health bar will rise. So that's just how the game mode works. Now let's get into how much you actually make. So I'm first going to show you guys how much you make when you are around the winner, and obviously there's only one round winner. When a player actually wins, they get paid. The first player gets $20,000, the second player gets $10,000, and then it goes lower and lower below that. This is according to the various levels. All the payments are made at the end of the games and not levels. Now let's see how much a player gets at the end of the three rounds. The first player gets $90,000, the second player gets $50,000, and the third player gets $30,000. I know it's crazy, right? Many GTA players love playing this game all the time, especially level 104. This is because it is a really good way to make money. RP, it's also very fun to do if you have three friends who are down to do this. Slasher. All a player needs to do is go to Slasher and sign up and then head over to the settings. So for the settings, put team balancing on and then just put first to win, set to seven rounds. It's literally that simple. Both of these adversary modes are pretty simple as far as settings go. But now you're going to want to get seven people in this game mode. Trust me, get the full seven because the more people you guys have, the more fun you'll have. And also the more money you'll make. And if you don't have any friends to do this with, or if you just have trouble finding people to join your games, you can simply join my Discord where you can easily find people to do these adversary modes with. For those who don't know what a slasher is, it's basically a game mode where it's a slasher, which is a person with a shotgun who's going after a whole bunch of people with flashlights. And yeah, I know it's kind of unfair, but it's also very fun. Now, if you win as a slasher, you get $10,000, and then those who lost get around $6,000. But trust me, at the end of this game mode, you guys get a lot of money. And keep in mind that these games are not that long at all. It's like two minute rounds and there are seven of them. So you're probably going to be in this for less than two hours. Motorcycle game. So now getting into the third money method on today's video, we're gonna be doing the time trial for this week. In this third mode, all a player has to do is to grab the fastest motorcycle in the game. 
The motorcycle can range from a Shitara to a Kyujo Drive or a Batty 801. It's completely up to the player to choose their preferred motorcycle. Once you get your motorcycle, you're going to want to click right on the D-pad on the time trial. From here, open up your pause menu. Go ahead and mark where the yellow checkpoint is. Once you have started the first round, you're going to want to angle your Shitara or whatever bike you're on exactly to one side. Once you are angled and you're ready, you're going to want to click right on the D-pad and then hurry up and try to get to the destination as fast as possible. Once a player gets to his destination safely without crashing on anything or falling into a river, he gets $101,000. Easy, right? Survivors. So here we are the fourth money method for this fourth money method. You're going to want to press your pause when you come over here to go online, go to jobs, play jobs Rockstar created, and then go to survival. In this game, there are a bunch of survivors that you will have to play against. And as far as settings go, all you're going to do is put endless waves. Enable that's very important. And then you're going to want to get three people in here with you. Like I said, if you ever have trouble finding people to join you, you can simply join my Discord server. And here's the best thing about my Discord server, it's free to join. So all you and your team have to do is jump over buildings, go into alleys without falling into trash cans. One of the players in your team has to keep guard at the entrance of the starting building so that no other player from the other teams comes and tries to eliminate their team. So all you have to do is survive at least 10 rounds or more, and you and your team will survive. The winner in this mode goes home with $127,000, RC Bandito. The last game mode on our list is RC Bandito. Many GTA games really like this game because it's easy even if you crash, you should still be able to win. All you have to do while RC Bandito is make sure you just take your time and don't crash too much. As long as you don't crash like maybe over four times, you should be able to win. Once a player crushes too many times, he is eliminated from the game, and this poses a challenge to his teammates. While playing the players in one team have to make sure that they don't crash in order to increase the chances of winning. Well, this game really requires a lot of teamwork. The team with the least number of crashes wins the game. This is after completing the 10 rounds successfully. The game will take about two hours to come to an end. The first player goes home with around $102,000, while the second player will win $80,000. So what do you think about these hacks? This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Remember to comment and share the video and leave your comments down below in the comment section. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.